All right, everyone, so uh, today I've got a special guest star on this episode of Driving with Ross. As you can see, Roberto is sitting right next to me, flew <laughs> all the way from Italy to be here. How yeah. long was the flight? Oh, it was, it was pretty long, like 24 hours. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. yeah, so that's commitment. Yeah. You, you made it happen, which is awesome. <laughs> so, mean, sitting here now, like, made me feel like well, board, well, well worth it, right? It was, yeah, yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, being out here, this is the uh, second time you've come out here to, to hang out with me and the team. Uh, we were out here like two years ago for Inner Circle. Yeah. I think the first Inner yeah. Circle was in Las Vegas and you were here. Exactly. And then. Let's see, we got together in uh, New York. No, we got together yeah, in New you York. Did, yeah, yes. You came down to New York City. And then in Orlando. In Orlando. One more time, yeah. So, so what I was thinking was, um, you know, for so many of our um, followers that, you know, they, they always like to hear about our students who have achieved success. Because that's like the ultimate, you know, kind sure. of like stamp of, the system works. Here's a student who's sure. gone through the classes and got to the other side. So, and and that's you. You're a student who's you're in the 100K club. You're a profitable trader. You're living your dream, and it's thanks to learning this, you know, one strategy for trading the market. True. Yeah. So, I wanted to kind of find out from you or have you share with me for everyone to hear. What? How, how did you even discover the stock market? What made you yeah, even think okay. of? Because this was like you know, four or five, four years ago when you were living in Detroit. True. What made you think like, hey, stock market day trading? True. Yeah. So, yeah, it's it's a long story, but we'll we'll try to make it interesting. Okay. So, <laughs> I mean, the 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 passion and the interest for the stock market, I mean, it started. Pretty much long ago, I was I was a teenager when like I, I was interested in this world about you know these numbers you know yeah. the companies like getting public and like you know traded and uh, and so I mean I always had like kind of a back of my mind an interest of you know over the the markets okay but of course you know life brought me to a different you know life path. Uh, no, I know. Yeah. I started my uh, conclude my my study in uh, you know, computer science, different area, and of course I was living in uh, in Italy, and yeah. uh, you know had to kind of follow what you know, the regular like yeah. kind of path is. Are there a lot of people in Italy that trade stocks? Or uh, I mean, I, I I don't I don't I wouldn't say that a lot of people. Yeah. But. I think that lately the kind of interest is you know is increasing. Yeah. But but uh, I also think that there are a lot of people that just like see at this world as like as a huge scam, you know. And, yeah. And yeah. it's kind of I think it's a kind of a shame because there are, I, I, you know I honestly think there are a lot of opportunities if you face you know the, the market the right way. Yeah. And, uh, I think that's totally true. Though. A lot of people are super skeptical. They're like, "Oh, the only people that make money on Wall Street are the exactly. big brokers." You know, exactly. they they drink their you know, gin and tonic lunches, and you know, the little guys like us, we we don't stand a chance. It's a joke to even think we have a chance. That's so true. And yeah, and so of course, you know, I started working as an engineer. Yeah. And I uh, had this opportunity to, to to start working from like overseas, yeah. which I really in Detroit. Yeah, yeah. And I was looking forward to it. I was really pumped and excited yeah. to go and kind of live somewhere else. You know, mm -hmm. embrace new like culture. You know, really, I really wanted to do it. Like, but I mean, that's like moving. You know, a third of the way across the country, across the world. I mean, it's that's a that's yeah. a huge move to move away from your family yeah. and. Yeah, I mean, it was it was huge, but. In the end, I was really. I mean, I, it, it's something that maybe it's within me. Yeah. You know, I always been curious about uh, what I don't know. You know, discover new things. Yeah. And uh, and that call for me was really like you know, no brainer. Like, yeah. I, I want to go. You know, and I really felt at that point it was kind 
kind of my way, you know, to be to be really feeling good with my life, you know, achieving something. Yeah. And that's important. I mean, that feeling of fulfillment that you've actually like achieved some success is sure. really rewarding. And so, and so, of course, I went there and uh, I spent four years of my life in the Detroit metro yeah. area. And uh, I mean, I enjoyed that. You know? like, yeah. Let's be honest. It's not like uh, you know I was suffering like right. you know, crazy or anything. You had a like good that. job. Exactly. It was a, the winters you know, were a little cold. Yeah, <laughs> that was the worst part. You yeah. Know? <laughs> You know, they, they told me about Michigan's winter, but you know, <laughs> experiencing that on my skin was uh -huh. <laughs> it's really hard sometimes. And yeah, and so you know, over the years, I just started to feeling that you know I wasn't I wasn't really like enjoying and like living my professional life also with with real passion. You know? Yeah. It was not to me. It was really the biggest like point. It was also related to some personal things that happened at the same time. Yeah, that made me really realize that I was not chasing true happiness. Yeah. Also, you know? No, you and I both went through a similar experience with that. True. You know, and true. that's a that's definitely a wake up call. It was. You know, life is short. You want to you want to enjoy yeah. every minute if you can. Yeah, absolutely. And so I was, I was kind of called to to kind of reconsider my whole life, yeah. my whole yeah. existence. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, <laughs> Caesar's Palace. Did Caesar live there? Maybe, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure what yeah what was here like two two thousand years ago. I don't but, know. But yeah, yeah. maybe. <laughs> it's a pretty old looking building. Yeah, maybe the whole Rome thing is, uh, you know, it's a hoax, so I don't know. I don't know. That's a real deal. Yeah. <laughs> and so, yeah, and so, I mean, long story short, I had I had to re reconsider my whole life. And um, and so, I really decided to, to make a huge step back. Okay. And, uh, like, look at my life from a different perspective. Yeah. Right? And so that old kind of little passion that I always had about the market that yeah. we mentioned before, yeah, it, it came out, and yeah, and uh, and I was like feeling still a little lost, right? Yeah. I was, you know, at that time I was not, I did not have that clear picture about what I really wanted to achieve and what I wanted to commit, right? And so that's when I actually started to wonder you know about this trading world because of you know all those kind of pieces of a puzzle yeah and uh, and that that's when I actually started to look like browse the web you yeah know? like I asked Google literally, yeah. you know how uh, do I day trade or just trade stocks yeah I think it was like more like uh, I was looking for successful traders okay yeah and uh, you know, trying to kind of steal the secrets of yeah. you know, that yeah. work. No, I mean that's yeah. that's I mean, that's the smartest way to do it. Really, it's if there's people that are already doing this that are successful, what are they doing that's working? How do I how I copy it? I mean, it's and that's not just with trading. Like, if I wanted to open a coffee shop, I'm not reinventing the wheel. There's millions sure. of coffee shops out there. I just need to kind of you know duplicate what is already working as a business model. And then you know, make sure it's it's a good fit for whatever this neighborhood and you know this town and stuff like that. There's not competition. I mean, but it's basically just duplicating the business model. True. And trading is essentially a business, and so you're looking for the business model. I was looking, of course, hundred percent to you know to a place because I mean, let's let's be honest. I was kind of starting from scratch again, and uh, that point was almost turning 32 yeah and uh, I know it was going to you know to be yeah kind of hard you were no spring chicken yeah <laughs> yeah 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 and so at the same time I was old enough to know that I couldn't just like jump in the market pretending you know yeah. that I had the solution for that right right and uh, th that's a good part of it you know all my kind of a past working experience yeah 
know, was totally telling me that if you want to start doing something like, yeah. seriously, yeah, you have to start with strong foundation, right. strong education, right. And that's what I, you know, I immediately started looking for a place where I could find all of that. Yeah. And so, <laughs> and so I was looking. This whole thing looked to me like, like a huge opportunity, like yeah. my freedom ticket. You know, yeah. I have to call. Like, that's cool. Yeah. And so, and so I just really started to face it like it was the most important thing for me. Like, yeah. You know, so, you know, let the emails go by. So, when you first started trading, I know you traded a little bit on your own. You lost some money because you were, you know, sort of, you know, hitting the the bumps in the road that a lot of traders have. At what point did you commit yourself a hundred percent to? I'm going to do this. Like, did you think that when you kind of were losing money that maybe you would give up or maybe you would you'd stop yeah. trying? Yeah. At some point, I, I, I think, you know, there were days in which I was totally wondering, you know, yeah. what am I doing? Right? Yeah. It's like, this is, you know, it was not supposed to be working, right? Right, so, right. I mean, there are days, especially those days in which, you know, you... You do something stupid, you know. You lose more money than you know you were supposed to. Yeah. And you you just you just wonder, you know. You, you, you gain you you make this step back and you look like you know that was a total stupid thing to do. You know? Yeah. Even, even to like believing that was possible, right? Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But then you know I realize that I didn't want to give up. You know, yeah. On my dream, you know, because. I mean, literally, when you embrace such a lifestyle with trading, yeah, you you really like have, get so many benefits, like oh yeah, uh, from a lifestyle standpoint, yeah, that well, it's really worth trying hard. You know? That's that's exactly right, and that's kind of the thing that you know I always kept sort of thinking about was, you know, if I can get this, if I can figure it out, my life is going to change. I mean, it's going like. The things you can do, the the places you can travel to. Um, I mean, just in the last year, you've traveled to some incredible places, sure. and it's thanks to the ability to open up your laptop and trade from anywhere in the world. You know, tomorrow sure. morning you can trade from right here in Las Vegas. And it was really to me it was so fascinating that idea of like extreme freedom, like laptop yeah. and an internet connection. Yeah. That's all you need. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's 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 incredible. Yeah, it sounds really you know too good to be true. Yeah, you know? but but it really is true. So it is. I think the I think the part that is um, is no doubt a challenge is that a lot of people come into the market thinking I'll just open up my laptop, connect to the internet, and start trading and making money. And what they don't because they see you doing it, or maybe see me doing it. And what they don't see is sort of the behind the curtains, the fact that it took me years to get to the point where I was consistently profitable. And even for you, it took you sure. quite a while. I mean, of I don't course. think it took you as long as it took me, but it took yeah. you some time before you really got into your groove, felt confident, and you know, were yeah. really, yeah, really there. But th that's absolutely true because you know, on the other side, you gotta always know that it's it's on you. You know, yeah. it doesn't really matter. You know, what kind of tools you have right. been given right it's really on you to commit and to make it somehow work because yeah. you know we what I found really fascinating about warrior trading we are a community extremely diverse community you know? mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we don't just trade a single strategy that works you know yeah we, we teach different strategies they all work yeah and so I think the kind of of job you know that you are committed to when you start it's really to find out what works for you right and, exactly and and then you know from that point on it's just it's just about must maximizing from that yeah that's exactly what i was saying to mike because you know he and i and, and even you and i have slightly different strategies and it was sort of like okay you know there's there's a million different strategies in the market how does a beginner trader know that they're going to be trading Mike's strategy or my strategy or maybe one of our other strategies. You know, it's it's kind of like um, you know doing an online uh, dating personality test. We got to get you the right match. That's 
that's really true. I mean, yeah. and that's uh, I think one of the the points that people also kind of misunderstand in the first place. Yeah, they just just think you know it's all about you know learning a single strategy, which sure. is absolutely a big part of it because yeah. you have to understand how a profit a profitable strategy really sure. works. Even if it does not work for you, you exactly. should understand how it works. Exactly, yeah. because yeah. it's gonna. I mean, even for me, I started really committing on one strategy really yeah. hard. Yeah, and then at some point I, I decided to like. You know, make make a like kind of a step side, and yeah, and I that's was that was my really my starting point to find out my own kind yeah. of you know journey to my right. own strategy. Right. So and that's so right now, and this is true of probably every trader in the world that at the end of the day, your strategy is a reflection of your personality, and it is yours. I mean, true. it may be very similar to mine, it may be very similar to Mike's, true. but there are going to be some nuances that you. Know, adapt to fit you and your profile and in terms of risk and personality exactly. and everything else so it's yeah. but first you know you have to kind of learn what makes a strategy profitable absolutely before you can kind of go on your own and start reinventing the wheel yeah the foundations which I think are the, like the biggest part yeah are uh, totally common right so it's right you know the conce concept about risk management which we really go into yeah it's 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 really like it applies to every single strategy in the world, you know, yeah. to whatever you want to be to be doing in the end. So, right. That's that's. Uh, I think that's uh, the the beauty of like being part of a community that I mean, it's really committed to to raise like people and, and traders like, yeah. from the ground up. Yeah. You know, and, I mean, and you're surrounded with people who are trying to do exactly what you're trying to do. True. So you compare doing it totally on your own to being part of. You know that type of community. It's obviously that support network is is a game changer for a lot of people. That's true. Yeah, and that's that's a great feeling. It was like today, you know, that I join the chat room, you know, every day. Yeah. And I really feel like trying to help those this kind of little army of like freedom chasers. It's you know, it makes me feel like I I really. Um, I'm really part of a big mission, you know. That yeah. Because all of these people are really, you know, they invest your their their time, their their, their money on trying to, to make this thing work. Yeah. And uh, that motivates me a lot. Trying yeah. now to to help each and every one of them as well. I I, I really find it so it, it's a it's a very very unique kind of profession. Yeah. And. Um, and I mean, and the point is that like a lot of people that have that never like they would have never maybe maybe even told that could be doing this as a as a you know as a profession. Oh yeah. They end up like really great. There are like great like women you know in the community that are great. Sure. There are like people at any age like joining yeah. and you know being successful. Well, I, I mean, I think the fact that, you know, me growing up in Vermont, that I've somehow made a million dollars on the stock market without ever stepping foot, you know, on the exchange to trade. Like, that that somehow accessibility to the market is, is available to someone like me or someone like you from yes. Italy or at the time in Detroit. When you think, oh, that's not available to me. I'm not living in New York City. I'm not a big banker. I didn't go to school for finance. You don't, like, all those obstacles are gone. And that's, a, that's, I think, what we're seeing right now in this sort of, like, you know, I kind of call it the new stock market economy because it's it's more accessible than ever before. Technology has made it easier than ever before to open up a laptop, open up a cell phone, and start trading. And because people are realizing how accessible it is, there's new uh, softwares that are coming out that are catering to active traders. I mean, this is a growing segment of people. And so there's lots of sort of ancillary businesses around it for stock scanners, for charting, for education. I mean, all of these types of things that are based on this sort of new, um, uh, you know, new surge. That's true. It's, yeah. It, it's and, and, incredible. Yeah. And when you see it from the inside, you realize that it's it's incredibly fair. That's what I love about the market. Yeah. It's like, it's really supply and demand. And yeah. in the end, it's, it's very simple, you know. Right. And if you are into it, and you really commit 
right? Yeah. To to make it work, you realize when you know when you make a mistake, it's it's on you, you know. It's right. you know you you gotta be accountable, you know, responsible for of your own actions, and yeah, and that's the beauty of it. I think I think that every single trader that I've seen, even like failing, yeah, it's like it's not about you know. No, really like the education of the tools it's about like you know getting to know there is a, like a learning path like learning right. curve that, that, right. you know, that comes with it yeah so but in the end it's it's the same thing for every possible like professional career you know yeah that's you true don't just do you know start like you know being up pilot you know yeah. whatever like yeah. with taking no course taking no like yeah. amount of hours or yeah. experience and you know to master the thing. yeah so are you able to remember back like a defined like turning point for you like i, I know i have one but I, I don't know like if you have if you think back like this was the moment where things kind of shifted or this yeah. was something i did that helped me kind of bring it into yeah. i don't know focus for me i think that that point was was about Filter. I, I call about filtering the noise. And, okay. And really paying true to myself. Yeah. And not really paying attention for, to what anyone else was really doing, but getting only the, you know, the, the call from within, like my my own, like my, I would say, finding your own kind of niche. Yeah. Really meant to me finding my own. Kind of strategy, what we would call a strategy. Got it. That also means do not like waste your energies trying to like or make it work with different kind of you know, a lot of yeah. different strategies. Because in the end, yeah, no, in the beginning, what? that's what my I, I think my main mistake was yeah. really believing that I could like you know applying a mix of those a lot of those okay. strategies to all together right right but in the end i was i really i really realized yeah. i was wasting a lot of res, mental resources yeah yeah that, you know and uh, so i become okay with sitting tight waiting for my own kind yeah. of a plus you know quality strategy you know quality right. setup to to present itself and really jump on it when uh, when i see it yeah so it took me a long while to, to understand that. Yeah, no, for sure. Did you see that? It was a, it was a bat. <laughs> Did you see that? It was a big bat. We're in bat country. <laughs> True. When you said that, it made me think that um, when I talk about my turning point, I'm talking about uh, usually that moment where I kind of figured out that I actually had a strategy that was consistent, my problem was that I was trading all the other stuff also. Okay. So I had to cut out all the other stuff. So it's actually yeah, almost it's the similar. same exact thing. <laughs> exactly. I just refer to it in something in a different way, but filtering out the noise, knowing that you know some of these things are not working for you, so shut them down, focus on what is working. And you know it's kind of like learning how to swim. If you are thrown in the water, you don't need to learn the breaststroke, the backstroke, and the crawl all at the same time. You need to learn one way to keep yourself from drowning. And if you find that one way, you're gonna keep your head above water and you're gonna survive. And it's the same with trading. I mean, sure. just find one way to keep your head above water. So if it's trading small cap stocks, cause that's what's coming naturally to you, that's where you're finding a little success, pursue it, do it. Absolutely. If it's large caps, you know, then that's what it is. So, you know, I, I hope for you guys watching that, um, you know, that's kind of a, a little bit of a wake up call that it's not about, um, you know, Finding immediate success is not about trying to do uh, every strategy at once. You know, it's finding one that kind of resonates with you, feels exactly. like a good fit, pursuing it, and then if you need to make a switch, make a switch and put that one on the back burner and focus exclusively on the next one. Exactly. Yeah. Because in the end, there are there are a lot, like countless strategy that can be really su successful, and yeah. and you start from like a, a, I would say a main strategy and then you always have some room to kind of refine it to your you know to your own you know yeah. what because in the end you will be seeing what you are actually capable of seeing right it's like it may be different you know from you know from one people to them to the other yeah so and so it's really it's really that that the key i mean of the journey 
that I always like come back to when people ask me, you know, what was really working for me yeah. and so on. I really enjoy also sharing what I, you know, everything that I've learned so far. Yeah. But I always encourage people to be also curious and, uh, you know, not not stop just to yeah. what Ross or Roberto or anyone anyone else is saying. Right. But also continue that kind of like inner development in yeah. the in this case in the trading, you know, uh, industry and find what works for you yeah. and, uh, and maximize for that. You know, it, it's in the end. It's like when I think about that now after you know some years working on that it sounds like that simple you know yeah <laughs> i was like what was i thinking you know i know that i could be like successful doing a little bit you know of yeah. all of that and putting it all together it, it's so easy you know years down the road to look back and give yourself the advice but in the in the moment when yeah. you're on your own and you're just kind of tr you're you're trying to figure it out you want to figure yeah. it out as quickly as you can so you just sort of figure well if i just sort of learn everything at once you know i'll be better off and uh, you know, I hope for, for you guys watching this video that, um, you know, you really take that in, that it's finding one stretch, it's a good fit for you. The reality is every single one of you guys watching this video today, you're not already a profitable trader. You're one strategy away from being a profitable sure. trader. It's just finding that one that's a good fit for yeah. you. So, um, you know, I've yeah. found it, Roberto's got it. and. And don't get no. discouraged if it doesn't come the first week. Yeah, a hundred percent. It's uh, yeah, you gotta give yourself time. It's true. I mean, when I, I mean, when I first started, I remember like looking at you and all the others, uh, you know, educators of world trading. Yeah. And uh, gotta realize, you know, now you have my many years of experience, and and you can do things that look really easy, you know, to you in like in no time. Yeah. But reality is, it took it. You know, it took you a little, a little while. You know, to yeah. get, yeah, get it figured out in the first place. For sure. So, yeah. so it's uh, it's really important when you when you step in and you commit. You know, that you start with strong foundation with the right place to be, uh, to be in, and then from that point on, also you know you you commit to to kind of evolve you know, yourself to a point. Yeah. Which you you reach you reach consistent success, you know. Yeah. And that that's a great part of it. Once you get there, you know there is no way you you you, you go you go backward, you know anymore. Oh yeah. So it's just uh, you know sometimes you know I see I see around and you know and traders that may may try and then you know they are like one step from like give up. I know. But but you know the corner can be really just one one step forward in front of you. I know. That's and once you turn the corner it's it's so done. true. Yep, that's so true. Once you once you're there from that point forward you've got it. Exactly. So all right. Well I hope that's been inspiring for you guys. Um, you wanna ask Roberto questions, put them down below. We'll come back through, we'll answer them later and we'll see all you guys uh, real soon and hopefully in the chat room. Thank Bye you. Bye everyone. Bye. Oh hey, I didn't see you there. Well I was just working on the dream board for my next home run trade. Hopefully it comes soon. Until then, make sure you subscribe to get email alerts anytime I go live or upload new videos. Until then, happy surfing.